I'm Stephen Berkman, Chartered Physiotherapist and Director of Boost Physio, Private Physiotherapy Clinic in London with clinics in Hendon and Finchley. Uh, this video is about a very common shoulder condition called supraspinatus impingement, sometimes also referred to as impingement syndrome. And this is where the shoulder tendons get caught and pinched uh, in the shoulder when one moves the arm outwards. It's perhaps one of the most common shoulder conditions that we deal with. So in this very short video, I'm just going to explain a little bit about the shoulder mechanics and about this common condition, supraspinatus impingement or impingement syndrome. So the ball and socket of the shoulder is a little bit like a golf ball resting on a tee. The tee is a very shallow cup and it's very easy to knock the golf ball off the tee. And that's the situation with the shoulder joint. It's got a very shallow cup, a very shallow socket called the glenoid with a very big ball, uh, the head of the humerus, and that gives lots of flexibility to the shoulder joint. Unlike the hip joint, which is a very deep socket and holds the hip bone and the femur very securely within the pelvic girdle. And that's much more like an egg cup holding a hard-boiled egg. It's a very solid ball and socket. Whereas the shoulder, a very shallow ball and socket, and that's what gives plenty of flexibility for the arm so one can manipulate one's arm about in space. The rotator cuff are the key tissues that provide stability and keep the ball and socket in place in the shoulder. And the most common of those rotator cuff muscles, the rotator cuff are a group of five muscles, the most common muscle to cause trouble in the rotator cuff is the supraspinatus. And the supraspinatus tendon runs where my finger is over here, it originates, as the name suggests, in the superior, superior to the spine of the scapulae, and it comes out where my finger uh, comes out over here at the shoulder and attaches onto the humerus. And it's involved with initiating abduction and uh, initiating this movement of bringing your arm out to the side. And very often what happens is that tendon gets pinched in the ball and socket so my fingers here, you can see this space, which is referred to as the subacromial space. As the arm lifts up, you can see that that gets pinched in there. And that's what the supraspinatus impingement syndrome is.